Hello, welcome to today's video where I'll be covering my webcomic process in Clip Studio Paint. In today's video, we'll be going over a collection of lesser known but incredibly useful Clip Studio Paint features you can use when making a webcomic. Links to additional tutorials, as well as everything mentioned in today's video, will be down in the description below. When coloring your comic, the selection tools are an invaluable asset. You can find them in the Auto Select Subtool group and fully customize their range and scaling in the Tool Property panel to meet most of your needs when working. But did you know there's other useful selection tools under the Select menu? First up is the Select Color Gamut tool. By selecting this tool, you can pick any color from your canvas and it'll select every area where it shows up. This is incredibly useful when working on comics, as you may find yourself wanting to select colors that you've used across many panels, but it'd be too tedious to manually go through and select each area one by one. I mainly use this feature for recoloring when I decide I don't like how a certain color looks, or for applying effects like textures. You can adjust its settings to only source certain layer types, or select multiple colors at once, too. For best results, I usually hide my line art layer so I can be sure none of the color is missed while I make a selection. Next is the Blur Border setting. Simply put, this setting will add a blurry edge to any selection you've made on your canvas. The first step is to make your selection. I use the selection lasso here, but you can use any selection tool you want for this. When you're ready, go to Select Blur Border. Use the slider to adjust how intense the blur will be, and after clicking OK, you can fill in your selection to see the soft edge. This is an awesome feature for doing quick shading. Just select the areas you want to draw in, then blur the edges and fill. This will keep your selection from looking too harsh, which makes it perfect for rendering skin and clothes. Finally, a very underrated feature under the Select menu is the Quick Mask tool. With this, you can essentially turn any brush into a selection pen. Simply create a quick mask and draw wherever you want to apply a selection. By default, the mask will show up in red so you can see it clearly. Once you've drawn what you want, double-click the layer to turn it into a selection. Now you can draw on your other layers and it'll keep your colors inside the quick mask selection. This is a great way to make more natural looking selections and combine textures and shapes in interesting ways. As you can see here, you can use this method to combine two different texture brushes together, which can create some really interesting and unique results. It also works really well with layer modes for drawing hair shine, clouds, and foliage. Here's a quick tip. If you find yourself using any of these features frequently, but don't want to keep going to the select menu to use them, you can add them to your quick access panel by clicking the drop down in the corner and going to quick access settings. Make sure you're under the menu commands drop down, then head to the select menu option and pick whichever features you want to add to the panel. Now whenever you want to use them, it's just one button away. This can be a big time saver when you use these tools frequently. Those are a few of my favorite lesser known Clip Studio Paint features. In the next video, we'll take a look at a few more underrated features. Check the description below for my social media links and more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.